Hey guys and welcome to my channel uh, Scuba Travel and Adventure. My name is Thomas. In this video I will show you AeroPress uh, coffee maker uh, which you guys can use uh, while you're traveling uh, on your motorcycle or any other camping adventures or hiking. It's still cold out here in Canada and uh, March is approaching soon so hopefully that cold is gonna give up and snow is gonna melt so I can get out on the bike and make some more videos of me riding uh, but in the meanwhile I take the opportunity to make those videos uh, for you that uh, you might find it helpful. I will show you uh, what is this thing about and how to prepare a cup of coffee. So I will open the bag. Uh, it comes in a nice box uh, normally but it's uh, I have it already for a couple years so it's uh, not here with me anymore but uh, it comes also in this storage pouch. Inside the storage pouch, uh, you will find everything to make the cup of coffee. AeroPress is ideal for any coffee lover, for a rich and smooth coffee without acidity or bitterness. It brews coffee in American or espresso style and the it takes about a minute to brew a cup of coffee. It's a great uh, little addition to your travel gear. Uh, if you are away from any places and you want to have a fresh cup of coffee first thing in the morning and uh, it's a perfect companion for your traveling. This is your filters and it comes in a little storage container like this. Then uh, it has that plunger and it's got a rubber and you can get, uh, if that gets worn out, you can get uh, the replaceable uh, parts for this. The filter cup uh, where you push the filter, I will show you that in a second. And then you have the main chamber with uh, indication here how many cups of coffee you want to brew. And there's different ways of doing this coffee. You can make it really strong and then top it up with water. Or you can just uh, pour it up, uh, up to stir, uh, here, let it sit and uh, make one uh, decent, uh, stronger cup of coffee. And uh, other two tools that are included in here is your a little stirring tool uh, that you stir the coffee before you press it down. You have your uh, measuring uh, little spoon here. So what I will start uh, using my um, camping stove. While the water is uh, boiling, I will prepare the filter and you'll see how, it's, uh, how easy is that to use. So you take one of those filters, simply put it down in here, and then you put it at the base of the chamber. And this is the finest uh, Canadian Tim Horton coffee hazelnut flavor. This is what's left over from the last uh, ride that we were out in British Columbia. So what's uh, also nice about this uh, coffee maker, it's super easy to clean up. Um, you just rinse it with water, uh, wash it in the river or whatever, and uh, dispose the filter. You can even burn it in a fire when you have the fire going. Uh, it's pretty much as simple as that. Uh, your best way probably, if you want to brew, brew a stronger coffee, is uh, you can fill that up, uh, but flip it over, get the coffee down, and uh, undo that cap on top. All right, so we'll go this way because this is my favorite way of uh, doing the coffee in this thing. So now we get a chance to see how quickly it's uh, boiling. It's uh, almost coming to boil. So I just, uh, this is not uh, on any fast forward at all. So. It's uh, life and uh, the water is almost boiling. And here I have just a cup, so it's super quick. Uh, they're claiming for one liter, it takes about three minutes. So that's why it's way faster now. Okay, it's boiling right now. So we'll turn off the stove and get this aside to let it cool off and then what we're going to do, you simply pour the water. 
So now you take your stirring tool and you stir the coffee for a little bit just to get all the flavor in there. So now we let it sit uh, for about a minute and I'll put my filter on top. So I have a coffee maker at home, um, the Cuisine Art, uh, which is grinding the coffee and preparing the coffee fresh grinded, uh, comes with a really good flavor. Uh, but this thing here, it blows my, my um, mind how good of a coffee comes out of it. Like I tasted those uh, percolator before and they were not nearly as good as this uh, Aeropress. Um, so if you are on your adventure and you like the coffee, uh, first thing in the morning or even uh, in the afternoon uh, to warm up. Uh, this is a must have and I really, really recommend this product. Um, most of my riding buddies, uh, they actually went and purchased uh, their own uh, after me having it a couple years ago on a Utah trip adventure. Uh, they tried it out and uh, they really, really liked the coffee out of it. So they went and got it themselves. So at this point, uh, it's pretty much ready. Uh, what I will do now, I'll get this uh, pot aside so you can see. Uh, you just simply tip it over and uh, you press it down. But she's all good now. Stand it upside down and there is your nice coffee and what you do at this point, you just top it up with uh, the remaining water that you had boiled and add your cream or if you prefer sugar, you can add the sugar as well. And uh, the coffee is brewed and ready to go. Cheers. Nice and hot. I will show you now how to clean that up. Uh, you just buck it up a little bit remove the plunger a little bit back, unscrew the top and your filter is still attached in here. This is usually staying pretty clean. You just got to rinse it off or wipe it uh, with uh, paper towels or rinse it in the river. And then you tip it over and push it all the way down. The grinds will come out. There you go. And uh, you can use this to scrape off the remaining grains. Clean it with a paper towel or uh, any other paper. I will rinse that later. I like to have it rinsed uh, when it's sitting for a while. So this is it. Uh, you're enjoying coffee on your campsite. If on a cold day, nice to have that cup of coffee ready. Uh, my, on my back of my um, Africa Twin panniers, I mounted uh, two jerry cans. One of them is for fuel and the other one is uh, for water for different purposes. You can, if you have no access to water, if you carry bottles, that's fine. Or even uh, I can use that water uh, in the morning to wash myself. It's a good thing to carry uh, water, of course, when you are on longer adventures. I hope you enjoyed it. I, there's not really much to, more to talk about it. And uh, if you are looking to uh, invest into one of those uh, coffee makers. I will post uh, the affiliated uh, link down below in the comments and you can order the coffee maker through yourself. There is a new version I think coming out as well so if you want to check that out I'll put the link on that as well. They just came out I think this year because uh, I haven't seen that last year and if you click if you order through my link uh, I'll, I will make a tiny profit uh, from Amazon. I always appreciate if you go that way. Thank you for watching this video and check out my previous videos uh, that I have on my playlist, such as uh, uh, how to videos uh, or a couple things how to do on your motorcycle, uh, other playlists with vlogs and uh, my motorcycle adventures uh, through BC and uh, United States.